at some point, you're gonna have to get sick of your own excuses and take action if you wanna change your situation. Wake the f up. You got this, homie, let's go. The only reason why you haven't achieved your goals is because you wanna allow yourself to believe that you can. Let's be real. Your work ethic will determine how fing far you go in this life. Stop fing doubting yourselves. Y'all keep coming up with these bullshit excuses as to why you can't achieve your goals and get started, where in reality, if you just shut up and got to work, you'd already be where you wanted to be. Fitness is the start of everything. Like, if you're not taking care of your body, you're not gonna get anywhere. And this is why I'm, I'm so gung-ho and like so ruthlessly intense with my message when it comes down to that. Like, if you can't even go look in the fucking mirror and be happy about what you see, good luck starting anything. You see, my goal is to leave a legacy, to be remembered forever. And that is why I pride myself on the work ethic that I put into every single day. Not sometimes, every single day that I am breathing, I am grinding to leave that legacy. Your first question is, what is this gonna cost me? What is it gonna cost you if you don't? Life is going to be hard. The things that you want to achieve might be a pain in the ass, but it is possible. And anybody who said that it wasn't in your past, I want you to stick that middle finger up right now because it's not going to get you anywhere. It's your dreams. So get out of your fucking head and start walking. Take action so you can achieve something. Look at all the success stories in the goddamn world. Take mine as inspiration for you. I went from an iron worker addicted to sense to a seven figure earner. I grew up in a fucking trailer that was less than 800 square feet in the country to now living in a 5,000 square foot, $2 million home. What the fuck is there not to understand here? I didn't think that I would live past the age of 25. It was just like, I didn't have a purpose. It literally reached a point in my life where I would like get home, sit on the couch, and I had no one. And it reached a point where I was like, why the fuck am I here? Like, I don't want to be here anymore. I just didn't know what was going on. And I just realized that I was headed on a dark path in a way of like, when I, you put drugs in front of me, I take all of it because that was just my mindset. I'm like, okay, let's have a good time. I'm not living for tomorrow, I'm living for right now. And even though I live like that now, it's more of like in present what's going on instead of trying to escape my reality. Look at your surroundings. Your surroundings will make and break everything. Like you're the average of the five people you spend the most time with. It is like the most real quote in the world. I cut out drugs and alcohol because I stopped hanging out with the people that were feeding me drugs and alcohol. And it's not their fault that I became an addict. It was my own. I'm the one who picked up the fucking pills. I'm the one who like drank the bottles every goddamn night. It's not their fault that that happened. It was me. But I wasn't able to get out of that fucking life until I stopped hanging out with the fucking losers that only wanted to do that. And when I look at everyday life, when I look at the world, when I look at achieving something, it doesn't make sense to me to just work, to drink, to sleep, to work, to watch TV, to drink, to sleep. What the fuck are we doing? I'm like, yo, respect to you, have a good one. That ain't for me. Fitness saved me. My fitness was the thing that like got me out of it. Before fitness, it was legit just aimless nights, working to 10 to 12 hours outside as an iron worker. And then I'd go straight to the bar, drink until probably 10 p.m., whatever time was, maybe close out the bar. 
get home somehow, and then would literally pass out, wake up at like four or 5 a.m., get ready for work the next day, my boss would pick me up because my broke ass didn't have a car, and then I'd go to work and do it again. And that was just my life all the time. So usually when you start to go down the path, there's like little telltale signs. Like you'll have one night where you go a little bit too far and you wake up and you have that regret, or there's the embarrassment, or there's this. And honestly, it just started to pack on in my life. There was so many little things that like, even to this day, I don't like utilizing the word regret a lot, but I can regret it and I wish it didn't happen. I'm glad that I went through it because it turned me into this individual, uh, but there was a lot of things that just kept stacking. And there was one night that I'll never forget, and it was one of my, one of my best friends back home, they recorded me. And I was f***ing blasted. Like I had chugged half a bottle of absinthe, I had chewed three per sets with them not even knowing what was going on. Um, and I don't remember. I just remember blacking out, and then they showed me the video in the morning, I didn't want to see it. So I was like, off, no, I was like avoiding it. And they're like, okay, we'll just play it for you. So I heard myself. And when I heard myself, it just broke me. I felt like just disgusted and fucking embarrassed and like just so many different emotions. And it didn't just change overnight. It was like that just kept staying there. So then the next time I would get high, that thought was there. The next time I would get drunk, that thought was there. Um, and it happened for a while until I honestly don't know what the exact turning point was, but it was like one day where I was thinking about doing it I started to run out of sets. I didn't have my dealer anymore. And I was like, okay, whatever. Anything else that I had in the house, I dumped down the toilet. And I was like, I'm just gonna try to change my life here. And I cut everything out cold turkey. I couldn't control anything else in my life, but I was like, I can control what I put in my mouth. Like I can control what I put in my mouth and what I do with it comes down to my fitness goals on a daily basis. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then just start to work out. At this time, I was 10 hours of work outside as an iron worker, then an hour and a half workout directly after work, then I was boxing for two hours because I was doing the same thing, then I was also studying personal training content and fitness content, and I was getting four hours of sleep a night, and I did that for six months straight. In order to change your life, you need to make good sacrifices, and sometimes that means you might get a little bit less sleep. And I don't know about you, but I'd rather sleep four hours a night for the next six months to change my situation than sleep eight hours and complain about what the f is going on every day. Fitness is the foundation of everything.